All right. So welcome, everyone. I'm I'm Betsy Coe, and uh, I have Eowyn Walker, WikiTree Forest Elf, and um, and Steve has been um, regularly coming to these as well, and is very experienced WikiTreeer. So um, I guess the first thing would be to see what questions you have, because this is really for you. Um, so before I have things prepared, but before we jump into that, definitely questions. What if the things you prepared will answer my questions? <laughs> well, <laughs> what, what I was going to do, people always seem to be very interested in, um, seeing a profile created from scratch. Uh, mm -hmm. so I was going to do that with both, um, I don't know if you've seen in G2G that we have a new um, profile creation uh, system that's in data testing right now. Okay. So um, it's not it's not hugely different, but a little a little bit. I've so been I doing actually, it all day with the challenge, so I, yes. I can give my feedback. Yeah. Um, so I'm actually um, prepared to create two profiles: one with the old system and then the other with the new system. Uh, one, I have a, f a photo that I can upload. People always seem interested in, in um, you know, seeing how that's done. Um, talking about categories um, and stickers and um, so, so, and also a little bit about the Wikitree browser extension. So okay. that, that is what, uh, what I have. What does that um, address your questions or what? what um, what's uh, what's I, on your? Well, all that sounds wonderful. I will be wrapped. Uh, and if it's going to include the oh, and I'm at a loss for the word. Um, if if I if if I import um the jet jet come yeah the the data that's that's that comes along with the jet com has a name and i can't think that of the compare? name the what that compare yeah that might be it it's when i first got on WikiTree, i did like dumped my entire tree on there and then i had to go through profile by profile and obviously i didn't get through everything and it was very overwhelming, and uh, and I have all this stuff on my my laptop. I use uh, what's this thing called? Uh, Family Tree Roots Magic. I use oh, Roots Magic that. on my. Okay. So I could. I've been trying to figure out if there's a way for me to um, in, to export just one person and then import that one person and have all that data automatically populated. But it doesn't look to me like I can do it one by one. I have to do like a whole GEDCOM file. Hmm. And export from WikiTree or export from Roots Magic? Export from Roots Magic and then upload to WikiTree. I think you can do just one person. I have Roots Magic. I'll try while you guys talk. OK. Okay. That, will, yeah. that was that would be the big question that I have for this evening. Like, and okay. then there's probably a hundred other little questions. But um, sure. But that being just, said, I mean, it, there's certain benefits to some uploading, you know, one profile at a time, making sure that the data is accurate, and you know, GEDCOMs can corrupt a little bit when they get uploaded to WikiTree. So if you are going to go one at a time, you know, we, we would probably recommend just going into the actual profile editor or profile creator and doing it that way it might save you some time because then you'll already have some stuff up at that point. Yeah, I would think that would be a little bit faster than doing a, a GEDCOM export and import each time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do the profile creator as we're about, you're about to show me how to do, right? Mm -hmm. Because okay. then you have full For, control over what you put on that profile at that point. When it's a new person, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Stuart, what's what's on your mind? Um, specific questions that we can help you with? As I, I just want to see how you're presenting the information. Um, 
at one point in time, I was working on a training program for the Wales Project, but that's got sidelined. But I'm still interested in, as a greeter, I see questions all the time from new people uh, that write to me directly afterwards after being greeted and asking a lot of questions. So our help pages have a lot of information, but they get really rather technical at times. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so it's great that you're a greeter. That's wonderful. Um, it's such an important service for the community. All right. Um, well, we'll just welcome Sally and then maybe I'll jump into uh, creating a profile. Answer her, um, yeah, Alice's question real quick. Yeah, go for it. Um, so I just tried in Roots Magic, and if you decide to do that, you are able to just do one person at a time. Oh, you're muted, Alice. Uh, thank you for trying that. That's muchly appreciated. And if you need help, I can write out the steps for you. Okay. Great. Hello, Sally. Welcome. Hi. Hi. <laughs> we're uh, I mute myself I was eating my dinner <laughs> oh <laughs> no worries <laughs> um we we're just about to we were just um finding out what everybody's questions were uh my question my qu I had a question I had a hard time finding you oh okay um I had I had to go to the to wiki tree and then ask a question to where the where this meeting was because I didn't know what the link was. I see. Okay. Yeah. I I we put up a G2G post um the the Sunday before these new member Zooms happen. Um and the Zoom links are always in that. Um I think that's maybe what I finally found. Yeah. If if you follow the tag new members then you'll automatically see that post in your in your daily feed. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, new mem so it's new underscore members. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you found us. <laughs> Me too because I missed the last one because I couldn't find it. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Okay. Well, you made I, it. I was afraid that I was going to have the same problem tonight. <laughs> Okay. And do you do you have uh, any specific questions about um, your wiki tree-ing? No, I think I have finally figured out how to do the um, the footnotes. Okay. The, the source site. Uh, like, yes. Inline citations. The okay. in, yes. The inline. Yes. Great. Okay. All right. Well, um, what we were, what we are going to do is we're going I'm going to create two profiles from scratch. One using the the traditional way um, for profile creation, and then the other using the new profile creation um, method, which is in beta testing now. Ao and any um, information on like when that's going to officially switch over or. We're still um, getting feedback and just giving people a while to test it out. Sure. Okay. So. Okay. Cool. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to share my screen. All right. So, um, so we're going to create. Um, this is one of my my um, grand, grand, great grand uncles. Um, and as you can see, I only got as far as creating his profile, um, but not his, um, his wife or his four children. Um, so I thought we could create his wife, um, Emily. Um, she's actually got a, a very distinctive name, um, Emily Rosina Ruth Bignell, which oh, is, wow. yeah. <laughs> And also helpful for you know identifying her in the records. So knowing that we were going to create uh, this profile uh, on the spot tonight, I, I sort of went ahead and did did some some legwork um, in this Google Doc. Um, so um, what you would do is go to Edit, and then um, 
over here. I've, I've got, I'm sorry, I got to move, move all of you so that I can see what I'm doing. Um, we're going to add a spouse. Um, so far as I know, she's sometimes people you go to add may already be on Wikitree, but let's first type in all her information. Um, so we got Emily, Ignell, uh, her married name was Redwood, uh, her birth date, mm, her birth date was August 7th, 1897. Uh, certain death date, I don't have a day, but I do know that it was in June, 1970. Um, female, certain. Okay. And then, then the system is going to tell you, um, okay, these are two possible matches, but I know none, these are not correct. Um, if, if the, if the name was extremely close, I, I would definitely take a look. Um, and I'd also make sure to check it, um, you know, to just to just to verify, yes, I've examined this and rejected this. Um, middle middle names. I assume I can put in multiple. Mm -hmm. middle, yeah, Rosina, Ruth. Okay, um, and she did go by Rose. Um, birth location, Cardiff. Uh, death location, Swindon, Gloucestershire. Um, her marriage date. So you want to put it in as much of this as as you have available. Mar January 1919. Uh, certain. Location. You don't know where she got married? Uh, not off the top of my head. I... I didn't make note of that, but um, but you can always come back to it later. Yes, I can come back to this. This is all the only thing that's really hard to undo, and even that is not impossible. Is the name, the last, the last yeah. name of both, um, and that can be corrected if necessary. Okay, and the email address would be if this was um, a living person, and um, then then they would receive an email and, um, and be invited to become profile manager of their own profile. Uh, I don't have any notes. So now I'm gonna go to here. I'm going to use, since I'm creating her as the spouse of an existing profile, I'm gonna use the marriage record to create her profile. So you're not gonna build a small biography in what's the notes section then? I, I don't generally do that. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I, I do this and mm -hmm. then and then I work within the bio text box. Okay. After yeah. it's been created. Then. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, I do my inline citations in the notes section. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I I suppose. Well, I don't do, I'm good. I'm not going to do that for a specific reason. Right, right. For and, this I, purpose today. Yeah, you'll see why yeah. I'm not going to do it in a second. Okay. okay. And ta-da, there she is, profile successfully created. Um, if you look up here, you can see that her Wikitree ID is BigNell 832. Um, and now I can get out of that. Um, I do like to try to at least put birth, marriage, and death in. Um, initially. So I'm going, there's the marriage registration. I'm going to mm -hmm. add in, there's birth. Um, going And then I'm going to add in death. Okay. So the document that you're working from. Yes. That's a, that's a word document. It's just a Google doc. 
that and, I, okay, yeah. Okay, but it's a tech stock. Where did, who, what created that format of that information? Oh, okay, I will show that to you um, because okay. that's the Sorcerer app, which is okay. an extension, which okay. is- Okay, I'm just getting ahead of you then. Yeah, okay. no, no, that's, um, so I'll show you. Actually, yeah. Okay, let me add this one yes. citation. Mm, okay. Okay, so there. And before I proceed further, let's preview. And then hmm. oh, you can see I've got a little formatting issue. And so I go back up here. And I think if I just. The space should work with that. Yeah. yeah just to make it pretty. And let's see if that fixed it. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I, let me let me answer um, Alice's question about um, the sourcing, sourcer citation. So I'm just gonna say, I've added sources and now I'm, I'm going to get out of there. Um, let's see. So let me, 11, 372. Okay, I got the, all of these out of free BMD, um, which I mean, you can also find these these records, you know, on Ancestry or Family Search. Um, but if you can, well, Family Search is free, and of course, this one is free too. So if you can cite from free um, platforms, that's preferable. Um, so I'm just going to find her again, her birth record. Is that only for UK records? Yes. Okay. Um, it works pretty well to just put in the surname. It's funny, that's where I'm working right now. <laughs> 11, eight, well, there you go. It's a great website, 372. Um, 372, that pulled it up before. Okay, and boom, there she is. Um, and we know it's her um, because of the names. So. I'm just going to go to info. Um, and then if you can see on my screen up here, I have this little one in square brackets. Yeah. So this is a, a browser extension that you can add uh, to your whatever extent, um, browser you use. And so when I click on this, I'm going to get this pull down menu. And I can, what I did was I did build. Um, build source citation. Now it's on my clipboard. And when I go, then I, I'll, I'll add it again, just so you can see. There it is. Yeah. So, and there's also, um, uh, you see at the top of the pull down menu, a way it will search. You know, you can say for this person, um, can you search family search or ancestry or find my past? So it's, it's a really powerful, um, a powerful application. And just to clarify, that is different than the Wikitree browser extension. Yes. This one's called the Sorcerer extension. They're two different things. Yeah. This one, um, if they're, um, um, it's developed by Rob Pavey, and he has a really good YouTube video that walks you through the whole extension and things you can do with it. So um, I watched it several times. I highly recommend. Um, um, Awen, do you, do you use Sorcerer? Or do you, either of you, do you use it? Yeah, I do. Yeah, is this- It's a, just, oh, sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say, the only thing that I find a little cumbersome is I always have to take out these BR. The breaks. Yeah, is there a way around yeah. that? Because we don't need it with Wiki markup. Right. Yeah, I I don't think there is. I think that's something Ra would have to change in his the way he codes it. So that right. might just be something. I don't know what his reason is for doing that. Yeah. Other than maybe he just likes it on another line. Yeah. But mm -hmm. um, maybe it's just something to bring up with him. Yeah. So you can probably so decode it out. Yeah. Right. I mean, all I do is I just I take the is, and I delete and I put in a space. And so there's usually two or three of them. So. Um, yeah, because that's all one link. It's deceptive, right. but it should actually be right behind index. It should be like one space behind that when it prints out. 
you could just search yeah. and replace for that right. once you're done for the yeah. yeah yeah so this um you'll see me use sourcer um extension on ancestry as well when i create the other extension so um okay so okay we've created alice um emily and um now since she was born in Cardiff, I thought it would be nice to give her a sticker. Um, and the stickers go under the biography line. Um, put that in there. And I'm not sure if we'll see the complete thing. Yeah. So what's in the preview, you can see this is what it's going to look like. It will have her name. Um, and it, yeah, it just adds a little color. So, um, and then the other thing you can do is you can cat, you can, and it's very helpful to the rest of other researchers. If you categorize, um, you can categorize by um, places, birth, birth, um, residence, death, uh, occupation, uh, cemeteries where the person was buried. Mm -hmm. So let's, the, the categorization, categorization button is right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for Cardiff since she was born there. Alabama. <laughs> Not Alabama. Uh, yes. Oh, huh. that's the one in Australia. Where did it go? Glamorgan. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now she, that means she will she will show up in uh, if as someone was looking for all the people on WikiTree who have some sort of association with Cardiff, she would be on that list and they could hop to her. Um, now the other thing that I'm going to do with her for categories is I'm I'm going to leave now and her her bio is very very thin, non-existent. So I'm going to use a personal category, um, which I can walk everybody through. Um, I just learned about these last month and I, I love them. So it's CO31 is my, my uh, Wikitree ID number. And I'm going to say CO31 needs bio. Yeah. So now, um, let me let me go to here and what I've done. Well, I've I added a sticker, so that's bio improvement, and I categorized. Okay, so we can see there, and at the bottom, we have uh, her categories, Cardiff, and then my little note. Now, what this does is. It takes, it's sort of my personal to-do list. These are all the 20 bios so far where I need to go back and do a bio for these people. Mm -hmm. Records, records. <laughs> Alex, you did, but I know you just said, wow. <laughs> should, should we talk through personal categories? <laughs> That's <Pretty> amazing. <laughs> I'm actually yeah. working on a records right now too. So I just saw that in your, uh, your list here. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Fine. You know, so fun, funny that the, all these names keep coming back around. Right. The thing I'm researching today. Maybe but they will personal connect. categories are great. I, I use personal categories myself and I have them broken down by sources and by to do and you know, things that need to get cemeteries added to them and stuff like that. Right. Right. So, so I have categories. Wanna... Yeah, go ahead. Do you want to do you want to show the all the categories that are in your personal category? Sure. Okay. So if I go uh, back a level, yeah. yeah, I I have needs bio, birth, baptism, death, marriage, or profiles created like um, William Redwood really should have had that category because we needed I needed to create his wife and his children so. Um, you can also put your free space pages on the same page, which is kind of nice instead of going to your watch list to look for those. All you do is you categorize your, your free space pages with Code 31. So if I went to your, your wiki profile 
yes. when I be able to see this stuff or is this just stuff that you can see oh, and nobody else? Okay, so let me, um, there's sort of, let me ask which browser do you use? I use Chrome. Use Chrome. Okay. So Chrome is kind of handy in that it's it's very powerful. Like if I just go Co31, it remembers. Um, and it can, even if I didn't have the tab open, it would be able to take me to my categories. But I did, let me take you the cumbersome way. So if we go find categories, and then we go, um, to hiding. I know Wait. this took me a while. Maintenance. Yeah, there are maintenance. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then maintenance personal categories. And then this, these are all the people on Wikitree who have personal categories. So you could easily go to them, well, find me K and boom, there right. I am list. Well, right next to Thomas. Right. <laughs> so yeah. Um, do you want to walk through how to create personal your personal categories? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, so there is um, maybe Steve. Could you put this in the um, in the, the chat? This this. Uh, oh yeah. I'll yeah. Just type it. Personal categories. There's a really um, helpful uh, help page. Good when help pages are helpful. Um, and I can't, I, hmm. can either of you think of a personal category that I could add beyond, I, I could create one. Uh, do you have a cemetery creation category? So when you need to make a new category or I, are- I don't like as in, well, that would qualify for most of my categories needs. So you have a need cemetery? Yeah, if I find a person is buried in a cemetery, but there's not a cemetery for it, it's annoying. So I always have to remind myself of a personal category. Go ahead and make it, and then go ahead and add all those people to it. Uh, there it should be the correct link for personal categories that's on the screen in the chat now. Mm -hmm. I'll double check myself. Make sure that is accurate. I'm going to get out of full screen myself. Wait, maybe I did it wrong. Oh, I goofed because I typed it by hand. Disregard that link. Sorry. Here we go. Yep, that link is correct. Cool, thanks. Um, so, um, to initially start start out, you have to be on your profile, go into edit mode, and then at the, the top of your biography box, you're going to type, well, for example, CO31, but it would be whatever your wiki tree category is. So you can see it right here, category, category um, colon, and then whatever your wiki tree ID is. Um, yep. And then um, you're going to save your changes. And this is the part that's that's a little bit like, you know, I, when I did it, it was sort of like, uh oh, oh, did I do something wrong? Because, but it warns you, it will be in red. And what you need to do is click on the red category link. And it's going to take you to like basically like a new profile page with complete with a text box. And in that text box, you're gonna you're gonna type double bracket category personal categories. So remember when I walked through the categories maintenance personal categories, that's how we tell the system um, whatever your wiki tree that your personal category should go under personal categories. Yeah. And make sure you have the colon in between category and personal yeah. categories so it'll recognize it as a category, a parent category. Okay. Yeah. So um, part of the then, wiki marker. Yeah. Um, then you'll see an option to save the page. And this is a one time thing. Once you've done it, then um, you, you're, you'll never have to do it again. You can make some notes for yourself in the text box box if you want, like this is going to be my way to keep track of my research to do items. You know, you don't have to. 
Um, and then it would be the same thing with subcategories. So, but except that if you, you would do those from the profile. So let me go ahead and let me go to, um, let me go back to Emily. What was she, Big Nell 832? Okay. So now in edit mode, I'm gonna go category, Co 31 uh, needs cemetery. Okay. Um, and, and it's more about, you know, because you can add the cemeteries if they exist, but if the cemetery category isn't created, that's the category that I create. Mm -hmm. So it says, you know, need cemetery category created. Um, and then it forces you to make that category and then right. you can go back and add them. So I just wanted to clarify that that's what I actually was talking about in yeah. that situation. Okay. All right. So I've been, I was categorizing full save. Okay. Then you get this warning box. Go ahead, save anyway. And now you'll see that when we go down here, it's in red. So when I click on that, then I get this text box and I'm going to, again, I'm telling the system that I want to nest this under my personal categories. One, and now it'll be a subcategory. I'm gonna save the page. And there you can see, I'll go back to my overall list. Now I have this new, new subcategory just with one entry, whereas needs bio, there were 20 entries. And there you go. So um, any, any questions? Stuart, Sally, you still with us? I don't know if, I don't know if Sally's still with us. Is she? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Great. Any questions? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. But I'll probably have to watch it again to because it it goes so fast that uh, right. It's it's hard to keep up. At right. my age, <laughs> we have the option to go back and watch this again, right? It'll go up on YouTube on the WikiTree channel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so now let's create a profile with the new system. Um, so if you're interested in beta, and Stuart and Alice and Sally, are you using the old old way of creating? Profiles or are any of you beta testing the new system? No. Okay. I didn't even know there was such a okay. thing. <laughs> okay. So if you're interested in doing that, you're going to go to my wiki tree and you're going to go to your settings. And then towards the bottom. Okay. Miscellaneous settings. So now I'm going to turn this on and save. Okay. So the other profile that we're going to create is one of my aunts who passed away in 2017. Um, so I'm going to my grandfather. Um, so edits, and we're going to add, um, create a new profile. Okay, so, ooh, not me. Okay, um, I'm going to, what I'm gonna do is add, she has a Chinese name and an English name um, and characters. <laughs> so I'm gonna um, add in 
the characters later. She's very pretty. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yes, yeah, she was beautiful. Um, okay. So. You again. Um, and Co. Her her married name was Lee. Her birth date was March nineteenth, uh, nineteen thirty seven. Exact. Born in Taipei. It wasn't Taiwan yet? No. It was, what they she called was it born in 37. Then? It was Formosa. Mm -hmm. So you can override that by typing in anything. You don't yeah. have to select the option. That's they may not have worked on that section of WikiTree yet for uh, right. historic wow. publications. Okay. Taipei, Taipei Shri. I'm going to do this one. Um, I can always change it later. Um, and then her death date was 26 March 2017. Certain. Um, well, she just turned 80. Yeah. Palo Alto. Where's Palo Alto, California? San Onofre? Or, oh, sorry. I was just reading about Palo Alto today. There we go. Okay. Um, so here's one. I think this, well, this is different. Um, you know, the pull down menu here. Um, okay, continue. Um, yes, my grandmother was the other parent. Continue. Um, if there had been uh, a possibility on Wikitree of, of somebody who could have been her, that would have shown up. But no. Um, now the the hard thing with um, Chinese Asian records is um, that there's not some. I mean, a lot. Her birth record, for instance, is over in Taiwan. Um, I don't have access to her death record, but what I do have is her naturalization record, which very helpfully confirms her birth date and her name. Although although they did get the two letters wrong, um, her maiden name. So I'm, I'm confident that, you know, this is, this is her document. Um, she came to the States in the sixties. So it's not like I'm going to find her on any censuses that are available yet. Oh yeah. Yeah. So she went by Yvonne. Yvonne. In the yeah. States. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, so what I can do, this is where Sorcerer helps is here's the record. I'm going to go view, and then I'm going to use this. Um, I'm going to build a source citation, and it, it's it's like lightning. It's so fast. Um, now I can go back, and I can add this. I do want to take out the asterisk because that's going to get added automatically. Um, and create. Yeah, so, and it does take you back to this page, actually, when you produce the profile. Yes, right, right. Thank you. For which is good if you want to keep working on it. Right, it, which I do. Um, you know what? So I guess. We can put in Yvonne as her preferred name, right? Or is that not? Okay. Yeah, I would say that probably was. Yvonne. Yeah. It wouldn't count as a nickname because it was her accepted right. name in America, right? Right. right. Yeah. It was her official name in in the United mm -hmm. States. Okay. So now we have this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, and I definitely need to to add add a lot for her. So go thirty one, and I can go back later and add the other categories because she needs a lot. Um, then the other thing we could, oh, the two other things. Add Maybe the media category needs a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Just put it in your generic Co31 category as well. Yeah, 
Yeah, sure. Um, we can add a photo because I have a photo of her. Um, but let's take um, my aunt as an example or an opportunity to talk about privacy settings um, because she is she did did pass away within ten years. Um, so I was talking with Awen about this earlier today. Um, so it would be. I'm going to set her privacy settings as public. Um, so you can see this is, um, and again, maybe Steve, could you put this in the, in the, the help page for privacy? Right. Yeah. Um, we've got seven levels of privacy um, settings. Um, so we have unlisted. Um, these are living, living people who are not members. Um, and, and presume maybe if you remember the, um, the first profile that I created had the email field, maybe you create a profile for, for your sibling and they get, get an email and they are so excited about Wikitree that they join, <laughs> um, and become a Wikitree member. But up until that point, they would be an unlisted person because they're living and not members. And there are uh, some exceptions for notables, notables that have a lot of public interest. Right, right. Mm -hmm. um, private, um, a limited, certain limited amount on a private profile. Now there are always going to be two, two views to it. Um, so that, so there's, you can see, if you're the profile manager, you're gonna be able to see everything, but if, Somebody just looks it up on, on um, you know, they're browsing, they're doing a Google, Google search and they're not on the trusted list, then they're not, they're going to see very limited information. Um, only viewed by the trusted list. Um, and we have, is it's just basically a gradient. Um, so, the, then, then the final two are open, which is what is um, required for people born over 150 years ago or who died over 100 years ago, must be open, um, which means that anyone can, can um, you know, work on it. Um, but beneath that, you need to be on the trusted list to add or change information, so. Um, so that's what we're going to do for my aunt. Let's see. So I go to privacy. Oh, wait, I better. Well, you might want to save that first. Yep. Exactly. Um, so I added sources. Um, privacy. So we're going to make it public. Um, now, if we want to add a photo, you click images, um, click to upload. I have it ready on my desktop. Um, there we go. Okay, this is from Family Collection. Um, Wikitree is is very um, conscientious about copyright and um, you know not just sort of pirating things from elsewhere on the internet. So this box is really important, um, and um, sometimes we get images from um, Creative Commons, uh, which are all copy available, um, copyright free for use, um, and um, Sometimes you might see a really amazing photo of your ancestor on Ancestry or another site. Um, what I do in those situations is I send a message to that person and say, um, explain, you know, oh, I'm, I'm creating a profile for this person or I have a profile on Wikitree, give them the website address, say, may I have your permission to use this photo? They, if they reply, they always say yes. 
I've never had anyone say no. And then what I would say is used here, I would say used with permission of ancestry user, blah, 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 whatever their username is. Um, so I'm just going to title this Yvonne Co. She was Yvonne Co at the time this picture was made, done. So I'll use that. Taipei. Um, she was probably about 20. So I guess we could go with that. Certain. Um, I'm going to say 1957. Oops. I'm not sure. Um, so I'll leave that approximate. And I'm going to upload. Wow. Yeah. That's a great photo. Yeah. Thanks. Could give that popularity. Let's get some popularity to that. <laughs> <laughs> So, so now I have, I think this automatically will become her pro yeah, it automatically becomes her profile picture. Um, if for some reason, if I didn't want that, then I could go back to the photo and I could, um, I select primary. You'd usually have a yeah. second photo in place and then yeah. you would set yeah. that as the primary. Right. Exactly. Now, sometimes you have pro, uh, photos that are um, that have more than one person um, in them, and you want to tag the photo to all the people in the photo. So I have someone like that. Um, so this this photo was just discovered last week. Um, really, really exciting. We, um, I was like one of those um, photo box in the attic stories. My a distant cousin um, sent me a Facebook message, and she said, "We, I just found this. My parent, my parents just found this photo. Do you know who the women are?" And my jaw just dropped because I had a photo of the men only. Oh. And all of a sudden it was like, oh, it's my great grandmother and it's my grandmother and my Aww. great aunts. So um, that's cool. Yeah. Super wow. cool. Um, so I had just right now put it, attached it to my great grandfather and my great grandmother that I was, whom I was sure about. Um, but having talked to my mom and my aunt, I am now very sure that this is my grandmother. So what I can do is just go down and I can add to, well, these, these are, this is everybody in my list. Let me see if I can find her super quick. Um, Redwood. Redwood, yeah. Redwood. Oh no, not finding her. Hang on. Co 31. So I'll just go to my, my tree apps. And there she is. Okay, Redwood 529. So the other way, if you can't find them in the checklist is to just go like this. And then I'm gonna save. So now you can see that it's also saved to my, my grandmother's profile. Um, and one thing that I probably should do with this image is because of the number of people in it is to go back to that text box and add in um, like a legend, you know, and just say who's who. Who's but, where. Yeah, exactly. Um, so. And then it should populate, right? We have to go into view all. Yeah. Well, you have a lot of photos. I, I do have a lot of photos of her. There so there it is. Yeah. Very cool. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, I think I covered everything that I meant to. Oh, I didn't. I wanted to show you um, David Randall's um, is completed profile checklist. Um, so as you're working on profiles, yes, do you, do, are you familiar with this, Alice? No, but this is what I want. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, so um, Steve, could you put this uh, in? Yep, working yep. on it right now for you. Okay, now if <laughs> oh you're doing God, the, the 15 so for 15 it. challenge, um, there's this is one of the things you could do. Um, and it basically just walks through. Yes. It's like a checklist of, um, you know, you can feel good about this profile when you checked everything off on it. I've actually ported this over to my 15 by 15 page. So yeah. I don't have to go back to this all the time. But, right, right. Yeah. So uh, um, when I, I talked about this last Saturday on the uh, the round, the Saturday live cast, um, tip of the week. And we, I, I asked David, um, you know, how does he use it? And he said, he's a, he's a traditional paper kind, pen and paper kind of person. So he prints them out and he has a binder with a sheet for each, um, for each profile that's in progress. Um, but he said, but I, I imagine that it could be very easily, you know, converted into an Excel spreadsheet. Greg Clark had the fantastic idea of, oh, print out a copy and put slip it into a clear plastic binder and then you can um, check off with like a an eraser oh book. yeah yeah i love that dry erase very marker. clever yep. Yeah. yep so yeah okay so and if you do happen to participate in 15 by 15 you know i don't think it's still too late to be a part of that this year oh uh, you guys know what nice that is? Like Alice, Stuart, Sally, do you guys know what the 15 for 15 mission is? You want to show them so yeah. they know what you're... Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Are you participating? Okay, there's a G2G post. Um, do you want me to put drop that in the chat? I've, I've got it. Please. Yeah, because it has the link to the help page. So, okay. So, WikiTree is turning fifteen in November. Um, so, we have this um, community challenge to do. Uh, there's a whole list of things you can do. Um, and you only have to pick fifteen of them, but if you want to do thirty or forty-five. Um, you can, and let's see, um, where here's a list of the missions. Um, so there are a couple that are, um, about you. Like if you don't have a photo already, improve your bio DNA information, increase your CC seven, um, then things related to working on profiles. Um, and see the, here are the ones that, um, apply to David Randall's checklist that we were just looking at, um, try out some apps, the browser extension, which I don't know if we're going to get to talk to, uh, talk about, but, um, send out e-cards. Um, basically it's all these activities that will fluff up your tree and get you a lot more knowledgeable because you're sort of, you're gonna to have to explore more widely um, on Wikitree. Um, projects, join a project. Um, and then these are sort of things related to the community. Um, Pip Shepard does this wonderful um, weekend chat on G2G. Um, and, and I highly recommend that as a way, you know, just basically you wanna find your little corner where for me, when I first came to Wikitree, it ended up being the Saturday live cast. And there was sort of a group of regular people that always attended that and you get to know people, but um, there's so many little rooms in the Wikitree palace where you can find, find your little group. 
um, social media. And then, of course, you get a sticker for completing 15 or 30 or 45 that you can put on your profile for some bling. And look, already someone's got 30. Wow. That's amazing. So, yep. Cool. Um, yeah, so that's 15 for 15. And let me also show um, two G2G posts mm -hmm. that just came out that are super helpful. I was going to point out this page for getting to this Zoom today, actually, because uh, we were yes. posted right there. Yes, right, because Sally was having uh, mm -hmm. trouble. Now I can't find the chat. Oh, dear. Where? What I are you doing, see. Betsy? I don't know. The chat thing disappeared. I'm going to I'm gonna stop sharing for a second. Okay. So that I, I still have it up. Do you need me to post it? No, I got it. Okay. I, I just saw it right before you made that go away. So it's there. Oh, yeah. For some reason, yeah. I, it might be hidden on my screen. Okay. Betsy? Yeah. I have to go, but this has okay. been great. Yes. Thank you for being here, Eowyn. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, of course. Nice to meet you, Eowyn. Yes, you too. Pleasure. Thanks, Eowyn. I'll see you Saturday. I promise. See you Saturday. Um, okay. Just remember to stop recording right. when you're kind of done with this part. Okay. Will do. I'll remind her. <laughs> okay so this uh this post i'll go back to sharing um share um is a, is a terrific like day by day what's happening on wikitree with links that'll take you either like to the youtube link or the zoom link yeah or the there we are. yeah yeah um, and where do i find this I just put the link in the chat, Sally. Oh, okay. Yep. Thank you. Yep. And so it's a G2G post that uh, Eowyn and the team is going to update, you know, if things come up. So I plan to just every few days, just sort of check, check this. Now, this one doesn't have the tag new members attached to it. I noticed that. So if they're mm -hmm. looking for it using that tag, they're not going to find it. Right. They're right. going to use different tags to find it potentially. Yeah. Um, in terms of tags, um, I, I think following announcements is mm -hmm. really, really good events. So yeah, they can yeah, follow those. those. Are, yeah. And there's our We Will Rock You nominations that we're building up now. Yes. Yeah. Very excited for that. Do you guys know about, about that? We Will Rock You. <laughs> um, rock. Stay, let's see if I can find Oh, that. yeah. I did hear about this in the Random latest. Random acts of Wikitree kindness. Yeah. yeah. That was yeah. in the latest newsletter. Right. Right. So um, we had, there are two posts. There's one looking for people who are going to help. And then there's another post um, to, um, to nominate people. Um, yeah. to, so basically, it's like the challenges, but it's for... Uh, another wiki trier to help them increase their their ccc their level of connection okay yeah and uh and then the last thing this is something that um was in my digest this morning um there okay now i see where i okay okay just put it in the chat um and tommy buck did this um, where it's kind of like a, just a consolidation of, you know, looking for what's going on and links. And so this is another good, really good one to bookmark. So oh, yeah, he's been maintaining this since 2020. So it's been a long time. Yeah. 2000 views. <laughs> it's a lot. So. Okay. okay. Um, so I hope I didn't overwhelm or overload you guys. Well, it's, I'm, I'm glad I can rewatch this video. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. It's a lot. It's a lot, but it's great. It's all good stuff. It's, uh, so thank you. You're welcome. All right. Well, um, any last questions before we wrap up? 
Sally Stewart. <laughs> I, I maybe have questions after the recording has stopped. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> so we'll, um, oh, I will say this. If you're planning to come back next month, um, usually we do these on the first Thursday of every month, but the first Thursday in March falls during Roots Tech. Um, and I'll be at that. Uh -huh. Really excited. Um, so we're going to do do the second Thursday of the month for for next month, and that'll all be in the G two G post. Okay. Okay. Um, let me stop screen sharing so that I can stop the recording. Thanks everyone for being here. <laughs>